to go, you know, my path was Birch here, obviously, um, like Zico and like Jack and all these guys, and it was a real life, life-changing experience, I don't think I would have went to an Ivy League school without um, going through, you know, this route, um, it was, you know, the cold was, it was freezing up there, I had never really gone through something like that before, obviously, coming from here, I remember, like, second week of October, it was, like, foot of snow on the ground or something like that one night, just from one night of snow, I was just like, what have I got myself into? <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, I mean, but like Coach Brady says, it makes you tougher, and I end up going to college in an even colder place um, and playing football there, but some of those things over time don't matter. Um, you just learn to move on and do what you gotta do and make, make the most of it. Um, but football-wise, um, Black Rock and Berkshire and, uh, have given me opportunities, like I said, to be seen by so many people, meet so many, so many like awesome people who in the long run, you know, will become friends for a long time, and help you out down the road, you know, if you, if you need it and stuff like that. I think, you know, you grow your network, like your network just becomes so huge. Um, and I've just met so many good people who have been able to help me along my journey, um, whether it's, you know, go on trials with people or, you know, networking in terms of job stuff and stuff like that. Um, I found out that I've been to a dinner before I left Bermuda to go to Columbus um, with just Dartmouth alone from the island, which I didn't think there were any. I thought there might have been like two or three, but it was like a group of 10 or 12 people and some people that couldn't even make it. Um, and it was just nice to see, you know, network with these people and, you know, them being able to, like, you know, just because we went to the same school, that's the only connection we have, but yet, you know, they, they treat you like family and stuff like that, so, you know, football-wise, they able to play Tottenham and Toluca and all these, you know, professional teams um, through BlackRock, the IMG Cup, um, before it was, you know, when we first started out, like Coach Moody said, we would have, you know, these cotton t-shirts where whatever black shorts or white shorts you can find, and, you know, whatever socks and just show up on a Sunday and play a game against um, like local local teams and stuff like that. And that only happened a couple times in the spring. So I think the the year round model that Black Rock is promoting through Northwood and um, the other school that's opening soon is is amazing. And you know I was able to get where I am just from a few opportunities to play in front of people. Um, you know, in terms of like the IG Cup and stuff like that, but now with it being full, you know, all year round, it's like endless opportunity. Like there's, you're always gonna be seen by somebody, college coaches, professional teams, what have you. Like I remember we, we played at Philly Union one year, um, and it was just all these college coaches there, like you didn't even know, but you're just getting out there playing. Um, we had another prep school showcase that used to have at, where was that, Westminster? Oh, yeah, that one. yeah. yeah. At another prep school, um, it was like over a hundred college coaches from the D1 level down to the D3 level, and I was able to score a hat trick. get a hat trick this one game and ended up getting two scholarship trips from that one game. And like the next, the following week, I flew out to one of those schools. It, it was just like it was just crazy to think what one you know 90 minutes can can do as, as a footballer. So I think you know all these opportunities that that. I've gotten in regards to stuff like that. It just you know, made me a better person um, on the field and in the classroom as well. Like Coach Moody said, like the, the academics are you know pretty rigorous at you know, 99.9% of these prep schools. Um, and um, you know it's nice to see that Black Rock's taking on their responsibility to try to help uh, maintain you know that rep to help these these kids be 
keep good students as well because at the end of the day you are a student athlete, not the other way around. So I think that helped me again get to a place like Dartmouth where school was not easy at all. I mean college in general was hard as some of you or most of you know, but it was very hard going from even from the prep school model, which was very similar to Dartmouth, and going to an Ivy League school. Um, but I fought through, and three and a half years later, I'm done. I uh, finished a little early, which is nice. I stayed there a couple summers just so I can get that out of the way and try to play football after. But I think you know, I've, I've carried all my all these values that Coach Moody instilled and all my teammates um, through to the college level. It's, it's helped me succeed, like I said, on, on and off the field. Um, and like you said, you had to meet people from all over the world. Um, I remember most, most of our years, there may be like two U.S. guys in the starting eleven. Like, you had guys from Ireland and Bermuda and Zimbabwe, Zambia. It's just, and, but we're all on the same page just through football. School. So I mean, I think that was very, very you know, cool to get to you know, be embrace these cultures that other people bring around you. Um, and then, yeah, I mean, that he, he basically put me really touched on everything. But that was basically my experience. I I would have loved to come into the setup now versus when I did come to the setup. But I mean, it's still helping me get from where I am now. And I think, like I said, it's just up to you know, kids to make the most of the opportunity. No matter what way you go, you might. Like the path is different. This path is different from what I took, and the people after you guys the path will be different from you. So I just think it, like Coach said, everybody has their different paths, and the timing's different. But just no matter what, just take advantage of it. Take the opportunity by the morning, and just you know, run with the things you may, may do. So I think Coach Moody has done an awesome job in, at all the schools and through Black Rock. Um, so I, I know this program will keep growing and get bigger and bigger and now it's in the, the newly remodeled like US uh, pyramid model the USL2 which is like uh, like you said the top uh, amateur league in the US um, right below the USL League 1 which is like the bottom professional tier um, so I think you know to see where the programs come from I remember we, we used to play like in these six aside like men's leagues you remember that in the winter we used to, we took like, we would take like 10 or 12 guys to like this little dome in like January, it's freezing outside. And we're playing like this men, like being four year old men, and we're like 15 year olds. Like, <laughs> playing this, this mentally, just like people just, you know, it's, it's crazy. But like, just to see us go from that, and I would have never thought like this is what the program would be in what, five, six years? Like, it's crazy. So I just think you know, the, the tools are there. Provide the tools and do what they can to help kids from Bermuda and all over the world try to make their dreams come true, whether it's football again or not. I mean, I'm glad that I'm done. I finished my college degree, and if football doesn't work out, but I'm going to make it work. But if it doesn't, in the end, at some, at some point, I've got to you know, return to reality and get a job like everybody else. So, uh, so I'm glad I've done that, and I you know, got it out the way and just fought through it. It was never. There are never any easy points, but and I always had that mindset just to you no know, pay off. Uh, okay, it's starting to starting to see some of the rewards now. So I just you know want to thank Coach Moody, Mrs. Moody was you know very in, in, integral parts in the whole process as well. Um, so just want to you know thank you guys for the media opportunity uh, to get to where I've gotten now. And I hope to see more people. Thank you.